Right, bit of an update on the Nexus 7 install. Uh, what's been bugging me for a while now is the auxiliary input. Uh, when you try use a Y splitter, so you can still have uh, just normal auxiliary inputs and stuff, the sound distorts to one or two speakers. Um, essentially, you just can't have digital sound and a normal auxiliary at the same time. Neither can you have digital um, output and nothing playing on the auxiliary. You need one of them unplugged. Uh, my solution for that was just to buy a USB hub with uh, switches on it and run, basically extend the switch. So an on off switch. So when when you have uh, an auxiliary plugged in for say iPhone, iPod, whatever, um, for passenger, you can switch off the USB digital sound coming from the tablet so you don't get any interference. I'll show you what I mean quick. Right. So essentially, digital sound is on. I've got, well, you can leave it plugged in. Basically, I've just made this little uh, auxiliary and USB extension. So the idea is you can plug in your uh, auxiliary, whatever. You can hear the speakers going mental. If I was to play, this now this is usb sound from the from the tablet so I'll show you what i mean don't even need to play anything obviously any contact point because this is actually plumbed into the y splitter if i touch see what i mean as soon as it recognizes that it's got two inputs that's going straight out the tweeter, but then the middle one is middle one is just the driver's side, and then obviously when you actually have music playing, turn it down a bit. When you actually have music playing, it distorts the sound on both channels, um, or even one channel. So, solution for that is uh, I'll just plug this back into the uh, iPod Arena. Much easier done. Two hands, I hate this iPod. Right. This decides to work. Right, so that's playing two, two songs now. I can see it. It's just completely messed up. I can still hear the uh, tablet over it. But if I pause, this is playing and it is turned up. But will I get? is a, uh, a drum sound of distortion. Right, so essentially that's useless. But say if your passenger wants to listen to music, um, you'd have to switch the hub, but once the hub's hidden away, you won't be able to get to it. So essentially run the switch off, uh, just extending it. Once you switch that off, plays fine. That's just off there, and of course, when you play, that's out of that one. So that's sound back with the tablet again, because I obviously switched off the USB. But um, yeah, auxiliary you can leave on. I could show you that this switches back. And that's two playing at the same time, obviously, which is no good. That's the, that's the whole reason I need that switch. It's just so I can... Uh, give it priority again. Oops. See what I mean? Essentially every time you plug two in it's just going to distort. It does seem to, if you give it a while, I mean that's going to distort and then it catch up and register it as it's been unplugged or it's not, not playing anything. Essentially once the iPod stops making some noise. There you go. So I've got clear sound again, but essentially that's my solution is just going to be uh, passenger plugs it in when they want, and when they when they want to plug it in, I just flick the switch to off, and uh, it plays no problem. But even more wires, uh, a stupid uh, problem really, but that's just me being greedy, wanting to work the re inputs. But other than that, everything's fine. It's, a, it's just a USB 3.0 four port hub, 
did have a seven port but I couldn't really separate it from the case for some reasons but this was nice and easy I just soldered on uh, two wires and then gave it their own spade so I can just run any length cable any switch whatever later on but that is the update the update um, run this stupidly ludicrously expensive uh, USB and auxiliary thing <laughs> Essentially the China one didn't turn up, so this uh, expensive jobby basically just extends out. I've got the USB that's going to run to the uh, hub, so you can charge your phone or connect like a GoPro, whatever. Um, tried to make it OEM, but it's going to have to stick up. It's not too bad, to be honest, once that's in. And um, yeah, just use an old wiper, wiper window, uh, whatever it is, the headlight adjuster case and I had to fire that out quite a lot to slot that in and make it make it so but that doesn't come out nice fit bit of time to do it but essentially it's going to be the new setup anyway for me launch control and flat shift I'm going to reuse the heated heated seat um, buttons never had a heated seat but I seem to have some buttons for it so that's going to look down there uh, yeah that's it that's the update